welcome back to the channel this is Constantine with car motion today I'm stopping at the exotic dealership here in Fort Lauderdale they have Rolls Royce they have Aston Martin they have Bentley many many different luxury brands I haven't been here for a few months so I'm sure they have new inventory now and I cannot wait to see it and I'll show you right now and so I'm entering the main room Wow. It's a nice Christmas gift. Beautiful color Aventador. Aventadors are no longer being made. I try to speak softly here because this whole place is like a museum slash library. As far as as far as the energy and atmosphere, it's like, oh, like a museum slash library. There we have, there we have it guys, the pinnacle of automobile industry, Phantom, Rolls Royce Phantom. Incredible big wheels, 255, 22 inch, right off the bat. This car is getting more and more expensive, guys. Last time I was here, it was under 600,000. It just bumped up to 700,000. And this is 2020, so this is pretty much two years old this car was made. Wow. Look at the spec on the dash. The size of this chrome trim. They don't spare no, no money on making it cheaper. No cutting cold corners here at all. The size of this chrome handles, I know it's just amazing. It's just like work of art right there. And surprisingly, they still have a keyhole. The keyhole, sometimes Rolls Royce guys, they uh, resist some of the technology. They've been the last ones to upgrade to digital and they're still resisting some of the things which I kind of agree on. There's some things that have to be real. For example, clock. I like analog clock. These gauges here, they are semi-analog, semi-digital. So you, can, you see the, the bezels, the chrome bezels and everything, but still inside it's going to be digital when you turn around one of the things that i question with phantom is um, incredibly unusually thin steering wheel it's i know it's been running with rolls royce for a long long time uh, but i just don't know uh, to my liking, I prefer something thicker to grip. It's kind of thin for a huge, huge car like this to, um, to grab it on a thin steering wheel. But uh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. This is just one of the corks of the Phantom. Look at the width of this seat. Look at the width of that headrest. Incredible, right? So this is a table. It pops up when you turn the key on center console with matching white and um, matching the seats not uh, matching the color of the car of course you have your controls of the seat here so this this spec is not even the top spec i think because i don't see a real rear entertainment uh, rear uh, bar which usually goes over there so this is not even a top spec. Interesting chrome handle to uh, to hang your jacket.
Yeah, this part you can um, really spec in your own liking. You can put uh, a real uh, painting of the real artist there, but I did hear that uh, some uh, of the Rolls Royce customer wanted them to put uh, original painting of uh, fragment of original painting of some famous artist like Van Gogh or something, and they refused. <laughs> so there is a limit for everything. Um, I'm not sure I like this plain white. I'm not sure I like it. It kind of look reminds me of my kitchen counter a little bit. And I used to have. The camera here for 360. Odometer 300 miles. The engine is V12, of course. It's not a fully full specs here. I don't see uh, prices for the options. Usually they tell you what's the basic price. Oh, I see. The basic price is uh, six fifty-five, and they have another forty, forty thousand, forty-four thousand dollars in options. It's not, not much for Phantom, to be honest. I've seen uh, these cars with over hundred thousand dollars in spec, in uh, options. So this one has a blacked-out grill. Usually it's chrome, and the matching LED RXC also blacked out. For those that are not aware, this thing goes down when you push the button, it hides. Just massive, just massive. And while we are in a Rolls Royce uh, station, Rolls Royce Phantom vibe, I want to show you another, another one, but uh, this is not um, Phantom, it's a ghost, but this is external wheelbase. The price is for $490,000, the 12, two miles on the diameter. This is 2021, this is one, uh, it's really updated one. So right off the bat, I can notice this car is just a smaller version of Phantom in many ways. N not by no means this car is small, but it's just smaller I don't know if I want a car bigger than this same idea the steering wheel is kind of on the thinner size side and uh, smaller the whole uh, steering wheel is smaller in diameter this is your manual privacy shapes I mean they're not manual they operated by the button but this is a uh, real fabric to give you more privacy on the back so if you have a date and you have a chauffeur and you just cannot wait to get home to make out, you can do it on the back seat of your Rolls Royce Ghost. How many girls can say they made out on the back seat of the Rolls Royce? Not that many, right? A girl that is uh, being proposed to make out session on the back of Rolls Royce automatically can stop her period with just forcing her mind. <laughs> wow, beautiful, beautiful, yeah. If I was a rich man, or if I will be someday this rich, and if the gas stations are still around, I would definitely want to have a, a phantom as a statement, as a pinnacle that you made it in life. There are a few more cars here that you can see. This is interesting colors pack of the Wraith. I love silver, always love silver. Oh my God, I just love this. There's no pillow here, just so gorgeous. Two-tone steering wheel, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Smell is incredible. Even sitting here with open windows, the smell it still comes out. Mm 
if you drive this thing around, it just screams that you are rich, you are maybe uh, one of the one percenters. Oh, it's 2018, 3,000 miles. 18, the price is 319,000. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It looks like brand new, really. Look at the thickness of this door. Wow, this is so heavy, this door, incredibly heavy. Oh, this one has uh, the, uh, this option for Starlight. I heard that you can uh, specify this uh, to represent uh, star skies laid out to your specific uh, needs. Like if you like uh, Orion or Andromeda, you can just have it laid out to your liking. Otherwise, by default, it shows the stars uh, above the England where this car is made. Three hundred nineteen thousand. If you have three hundred thousand laying around and you want to reward yourself that you made it in life, I would get this one. And you single, you single gentleman with lots of money. You drive this thing around, all the girls will be like, This is the guy I wanna give my all to. <laughs> I give my all. <laughs> on the first date <laughs> yeah you might be laughing and you say yeah right but trust me when you're in a situation with uh, somebody like this the energy of the person is going to be so overwhelming that I don't think you can resist even if this guy is old so this one is interesting spec I'm not sure if I like the wheels actually I really don't like the wheels uh, this is an interesting color. I still prefer this to be uh, chrome. This looks like it's been painted poorly, which is kind of unusual for Rolls Royce. It almost feels like it's a wrap, but it's not. So this one is a little more expensive. It's 360, and this one is 19 with 18,000 miles. Yeah, it doesn't do justice with the blackout, honestly. It, I would prefer it to be gunmetal, but not blackout like this. It kind of, uh, kind of cheapens it, to be honest with you. Completely black everywhere. Wow, I love this carbon fiber dash. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Let me show you in the back. Even this base is blacked out. Even the tips on the exhaust and uh, this bar is blacked out. Make it carbon fiber. It's gonna be so much better. Like like this one, carbon fiber. If somebody would give it to me like this, I would take it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but if I would be a person who spec'd it from the ground up, I would never go with uh, just a plain black here. It's kind of, uh, it just looks like somebody painted it, not in the factory. It's not enough uh, gloss or, uh, look, it's kind of, I don't know if the camera can, can uh, show you, but it's, it feels like it's a texture, it's like a, maybe it is, maybe it is, oh my god, look, at there's a drop of paint. It's a drop. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this little walk around the Rolls Royce showroom. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.